Today on The Real. We're answering your questions on Girl Chat. Clearly, I felt awkward already. I'm trying to figure out if you like me or not. <laughs> and this week, February becomes fan -bruary. And it's all about you. With our fan favorite, fake it or take it. Plus, we surprised Lonnie in the kitchen. I love a man that can cook. <laughs> and this Monday, our Black Her Story series starts with Cameron and Sanaya Simone. The Real. February all about celebrating you, our wonderful, beautiful, fabulous fans, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're dedicating the entire month to you. That's right here at The Real. It's not February. No, nope. no. Nope. You wanna know the name of it? It's February. any way we can, from helping us pick our girl chat topics, which I really, really love when I, I love do that. that, to playing our games along with us at home. Okay, are y'all ready to kick off February? Very good. You have to do it properly, honey, with a little February girl chat. Yes. Yes, honey, bunches of oats. Well, guess what? It is Girl Chat Wheel Day. <laughs> If you, don't know how, if you don't know how it works, we asked you on social media what you wanted to talk about. And your topics are up on our famous girl chat wheel. Yes. And the wheel has 16 topics labeled with numbers. A lucky audience member, yes, honey, one of you guys, will spin the wheel and land on a number. I'll open up the corresponding cards with the topic to talk about. Everybody ready for it? Yes, we are. Let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna need an audience member to come down here and spin the wheel. Yes. <laughs> Cam, why don't you do the honors? You, got, you the lucky, lucky fingers, lucky fingers. Lucky fingers, lucky yes, fingers. Yes. Pick, okay. pick a name okay. out of this bowl uh, and then call it on out there. Lauren Mosley, get down! <laughs> DC. Hey! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, you ready for the first time? Yes. Okay, girl, spin that chat wheel. Okay. Put your back into it. <laughs> yeah. Number All right, three. Party people, number three. Why don't you read her real fast? My favorite number. number. Okay. This topic was sent in by Pamela Sue in Rothwell in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Sure. She watches us in uh, CW Lexington. What's up, CW hey. Lexington? Hey. Oh, wow. This is really good. She says, who is the best cook on the reel? Well, clearly, who would you say? <laughs> What? What? She's evaluating okay. us. Okay. Really? It's so we easy. We all know yeah. it's Tay it's Tay. Tay Tay. Tay Tay. You can't cook. No, those Thank enchiladas. You. You those make tacos. amazing Mexican food. Tamar is she the really best does. cook, but I also like cooking with her, and she allows you to cook with yes. her, and she's very patient. 
with Even you. Even me. Girl. Yeah. yeah, she's very patient with and Adrian. You know how to cook a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah. hard to do. And she don't use no measuring. She just no. measure with her hands and That's stuff. That's that southern love, honey. But let me tell you something. <laughs> At this table, it's not just about who is the best cook, clearly. Thank you, girls, for the love. Okay. But... I have a fabulous, fabulous sous chef, honey. I, a cook is not as good as a sous chef. <laughs> Who's your sous chef? Who's your sous chef? Well, you know, it's gonna have to be Lonnie Love. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, so I can see yeah. That. She, she, it's easier because she likes to prep the food. <laughs> Yeah. And I didn't know that. That's you awesome. didn't know that? No, I would yeah. always just show up and the food would be ready. Oh, that's lazy. <laughs> no, you know I'm you are up, but I had no idea that you... Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, but Tim, you, you... You're a good cook, too. I know, you're but you... are just a real clean chef. Yeah, you, you're really clean. You... <laughs> Me and I have no food. No I butter. Just eat, no butter. I no just fat, eat no salt, healthy. No pepper. This one right here is always calling me, asking me, what are you making, Adam, right now? What, what are you making for dinner? And I'm like, salmon Salt and spinach. Free salmon. And what do you tell me? What Ew. You, you <laughs> then you say no. something else, Tamar. Oh, Lord, what I say? And it kind of... I don't know if I could say yeah, it. Yeah, don't get us both in trouble, then. Hold okay, I don't want to get us both in trouble. Then. <laughs> okay, then good. Yeah, no, no, All no. All right, no. it's time for a new topic. Don't you feel it in the air? <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Lola, what's going on? Let's go that girl, Chad Will. <laughs> All right, this is, oh, it's a video from Carl Tunnelly in Augusta, Georgia. He watches us at NBC 26. Yes, he has a question for us. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Carlton T. Clay from Augusta, Georgia. First, let me say I love the show. I love the real. I love you ladies. Aww. But my question is, what signs should you look for when you think a friend wants to be more than just a friend? Tell you this: If yeah. he come to the house naked, that's a <laughs> yes. that's a good indication. Yes, I just feel like we're grown. Yeah, and nobody has time for this. Just say, hey, do you like me more than just a friend? I think that's the way to go. That's just a ask. Good way. But in another way, if you are open like that. Another way is if you lean in for a kiss and they don't move. Yeah, yeah but then you, you put know. an awkward thing out there if it doesn't work out. Well, clearly I felt awkward already. I'm trying to figure out if you like me <laughs> or not. Let me tell you what's a clear cut one, all right? Okay. You know me and you should go out on a date. I'm just playing that. Because oh. I want to see what you're going to say. Oh. That many times it happened to That's a good one. Yeah. 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 They oh. call it a joke on the square. Yeah, like you seriously joking. Yeah. You know what? I can always tell when a girl likes a guy by the way she touches him. Have you guys noticed that? It's Absolute all about body in the body language. And if she leans in and laughs, like... <laughs> See, that's why I don't play that. See what I'm saying? Or she, like, twirls her hair, mm -hmm. yeah. bats her eyes. Doing too much. That's what they call it. Yeah. yeah. But that yeah. leaves, again, that Flirty. leaves it up for, like, you know, like, for interpretation. Yeah, that's why girls, that's why Yeah, but girls, girls, like, every time you say a joke, she just dies laughing. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't that funny. Wasn't that funny. It wasn't that funny. It's not that funny. Sit down, girl. What do you think, sweetie Lauren? What do you think? Um, I think if they, if they give you a nickname... And they, they, they only call you by that nickname. That like girl. what? Nickname like what? <laughs> like, um, Bay Boo Honey Bunches. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Snickerdoodle. Uh-huh. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Snickerdoodle. That'll they get you every time. If they get you caught up in a web that you can't get out of. Okay. All right, now let's keep going. Lola, spin that heel, girl. <laughs> This is sent in by Raya Bell in Atlanta, Georgia, too. She watches us on Fox 5. We love Fox 5. Okay, ladies, listen up. This is a good one. If you were writing a memoir, what would it be titled? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. I would it call really mine. Think about that. Ooh. Disney After Dark. Hey! Oh! Like good old blue eyes says, I do it my M A I way. Oh, oh my God. you gotta do it past tense. I did it my way. Did it my way. Yeah, that was the name of the song. 
I did it. M A I way. I did it my way. We get it. But I would because I, I dance to the beat of my own drum. I've always got a own tune in my head. I may not always be on beat, but I got my tune in my head. I heard that. <laughs> what about you? My. 50 Shades of Liquor. <laughs> Part one, two, three, and four. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. Hmm, I think mine will be, you know it's gonna be deep. Uh-oh. Uh, staying true while surviving it all. Because I've been in the business ever since I, you know, was, was a little girl, but I stayed true to myself and all my, you know, all my fans and my family, they know that, and surviving it all. Yes. I survived the ups and downs of being a child star and I'm here today and loving myself. Well, that's a real book. Okay. Yes. 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 That sounds like it's gonna be a really long book. Mine for her would it's be, be a I long book. Up. Yes. Than yours. Yes. Yes. It's gonna be a lot of chapters. I, yeah. I wanted to be, I wanted to think or about it. I turn it. out something like no. that. No, 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 no. no. That's, oh, that's a different so thing. That's so a different thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I thought I had one, but my, no, no. What was yours? yours was way too serious for me. Okay. Okay. I can't wait. Eat, slay, oh. love. That's my book. I love it. I like it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know what I did? Yeah. I like that. I love it. That's my book. Yeah. Eat, slay, love. Eat, slay, love. You enjoy love. that, huh? Yeah. There's going pictures in it. <laughs> I slay sometimes, yes. you know, just not on purpose. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know I would make yours 50 shades of shade. <laughs> I think I, mine would be called The Unexpected Adventures of Lauren B. Mosley. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, what yeah. kind of adventure is unexpected? All of them. Oh, <laughs> all right now, party people. <laughs> Let's keep the party going, girl. Spin that wheel. <laughs> This topic was sent in by Vivian Wiley. She watches us on Fox, Carolina, in Anderson, South Carolina. Hi, hey. hey! She asks, do people make up social media pages of y'all? <laughs> yes. yes. Fake ones, for sure. Fake ones, yeah. I got one up that says that I'm 5'7", and I don't mind that. <laughs> I like that. Good. That's good. Because like you're what? Five, you're five, four, and yeah, I, you're I like that. When they get the facts wrong, but it does you some favor, like, it's okay. I'm gonna keep that one up. Well, so, she's the queen of having a bunch of social media Oh, you media have a pages. bunch. I mean. It's ridiculous, because most people think, like, in the comments, sometimes I just look and shake my head that they arguing and cussing me out, and I have <laughs> no ridiculous. idea who they talking to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you have, a lot, you have a lot that are about love, and they, you know, they're real fans, and oh, they don't, yeah. you know, and they look out for you, oh, too. All the time. Yeah. I love my Tate Martian friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I love the fan pages, but people for sure can get confused. There's one that follows me that, that, that has your name, but instead it has two W's. Two W's, yeah. yeah. I always think it's actually me. you. Yeah. They even talk if to you my sister. Quickly. See, they that's why I'm saying They talk to my sister, weird. pretending yeah. to be me. That's when it gets a little weird. And yeah. When they make up pages of your kids, like Aiden has oh. one, Araya has one, I'm like, Logan has one. Logan has one. A few of them, Jack. Yeah, and they pretend to be you. That's, That's not cool, y'all. We need another viewer topic. So spin that wheel for us, babe. This next topic is an Instagram video sent in by Warnell Thomas in Atlanta, Georgia. He watches us on Fox 5. Thank you so much. So roll it. Hey, ladies. My name is Warnell Thomas, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And my question is for y'all. If y'all could bring back one famous sitcom from the 90s, what would it be and why? That's a good That's question. That's so juicy. Oh, my gosh. You guys, anybody else here love Who's the Boss? 
Yes. Yes. Oh my God, I learned about the shoulder pad from Angela Mona. Bauer. Mona had great fashion yes, sense. She it was did. such a good show. Her I love that. We not gonna mention the Cosby show? Is it? Is that <laughs> <laughs> well, we just got started, crazy. <laughs> was that yours? All right. Is that yours? Back? No, What's I'm yours? just saying, is it okay to mention it? She <laughs> just wanted to <laughs> say Cosby. Listen, let me say something. You cannot take away the fact that that was an amazing, that is awesome. very that was amazing, amazing, amazing show. show. Nobody's trying to yeah, strip I nobody of their rights. Rudy you know. so I, I, fun. How about we just go with, um, with a different world? Yeah. Whitley. Listen, I wanted to be Jasmine Guy when I grew up. <laughs> really? Wet. Yes. She woke up, she said, her breath smell like strawberry fields. <gasps> I wanted my breath to smell like strawberry fields when I woke up in the morning. I was just trying to figure out how she got it like that. <laughs> I just feel that. like sister, sister, sister. <laughs> So Tia, yeah. if we're facing the picture, Tia's on the left, I'm on the right. I still remember that photo shoot. Yeah. I really? love doing that show. So, so I would say Sister Sister too. Oh. I absolutely love it. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Yes. You are exactly your character with your like mannerisms. What? Like when you go, you guys. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, why are you laughing so hard? Right, 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 right now, back. she said, what are you talking about? Or <laughs> oh, when she calls my name, Lorne. Yeah. I feel like she said, Roger. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Same tone as Roger, Lorne. What, what would you bring back? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Today is February 1st, and it's the beginning of Black History Month. Well, here at The Real, we know the significance of this special month, so every Monday we're highlighting amazing black women who've made their mark in history. Yes, That's give it up. Amazing. This is Black Her Story Month. Yay! So with us today is Cameron and Sanaya. Hi, gals. Hi. Thank you. Special videos just for us that we'll show you each week during Black Her Story Month. Ladies, thank you for being here. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Now, how old are you gals and where you from? I'm 10 and I'm from Houston, Texas. Yes. I'm 9 and I'm from Houston, Texas also. All right. All right now. now, why are you two so passionate about Black History Month? Well, we believe that um, black women can also do things and they have just inspired um, us for all their accomplishments. And we awesome. want to give them an applaud for all their sacrifices and all they went through for us. Yeah, yes. that's right. Yes. And as we mentioned, you guys made some videos for us. So yes. who's up first? So Dr. Mae Jemison is up first mm -hmm. because she was the first black ast female astronaut. Wow. Mm -hmm. And she was the first female black astronaut to ride in the shuttle endeavor. All right, wow. Then. wow. Okay. Let's take a look. Dr. Mae Jemison is the first African American female astronaut. In 1992, she became the first black female to fly on the shuttle endeavor. Dr. Jemison was a NASA astronaut for six years and sees science and technology as a big part of our society. She wants to help people travel beyond our solar system. Dr. Jemison has received awards and honorary doctorates for all her courageous work and continues to inspire people around the world. So ladies, what does Dr. Mae Jemison mean to you? To me, Dr. Mae Jemison um, is an entrepreneur and she's an amazing role model um, to women and to just other people by inspiring us with her accomplishments and everything that she's done. Wow. She's amazing to me because she, she helps women with learning about technology and engineering and math and she's also a part, a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha like my mother. Oh, oh right now! Oh. Here on the reel, so all month long we're showing some extra love to our fans. Yes. Love you guys. <laughs> we're always getting hit up on social media by you guys asking about our outfits. You want to know where, what we're wearing, where we got it, all the usual girlfriend questions. Yes. So today we're serving up our favorite looks with a fan 
Shun Cho. <laughs> month combing through our audience for our biggest fashion fans and they're here for you today strutting down the runway. I'm Woo! excited. All right now. Let's give them a lot of love. They look fierce. Yay! <laughs> okay. It's time to get to it. Come on out. Here's Teresa from Pasadena. Teresa, what do you love about this outfit? I think it's classic and still super trendy, yes. and I love this blazer. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. I loved wearing this because the, the blazer is super sophisticated, but the leather leggings take this look from day to night, and it gives me a little bit of an edge. Yes. There's nothing wrong with Come a little bit of edge, there. you know? Yes. Thank you so much, you look great. All right, Tay Tay, you're up next. Thanks, Tara. Oh, child, I can't wait to see how Amanda from Monrovia, California looks in my look. Come on out, girl! <laughs> Like you. <laughs> well, thank you because it only works for me because while it's simple, a solid color dress, when you pair it with some dark thigh high <laughs> boots and some tights like you did right there, you look amazing and long and lean. Yes, thank you, girl. You, you look awesome. Gorgeous. Yes, Kitty. Let's see your fan. She on look. <laughs> I am gonna show you that fan. She on look, Tamar. I love having a fashionable fan wearing my look. So Natalie from San Diego, let's see how you look dolled up in my outfit. I'm not ready. You are a real fan shinista. Here's how you both look dressed to the nines. So I love this outfit because it's colorful and fun. Why do you like this outfit? I really love the pastel colors in this dress. It makes my dark hair stand out. Oh, oh, girl, yes, you oh, yeah. yeah, you better know. <laughs> now, I love this because the maxi dresses are so comfortable, ladies, to wear throughout the day. It's beautifully patterned. It hides any uncomfortable areas as well. And it's vintage, so it's one Beautiful. of mine, like you. Love that. Thanks, Natalie. Thank you. Yes, you rock you it. Great, girl. I make up in everything. Lonnie, I know you have <laughs> <have laughs> point. So tell us what's up, Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am excited for this. Monet from Ontario, <laughs> California. Come on out of here. <laughs> love how this dress complements my curves. And I feel like I'm ready to go out on a night with my husband. Yes, come on. That's right, girl. Yay! This dress is beautifully designed with lines and color blocking, so you look your best all day long. Show so them. thank you so much for doing that. And it cinches at the yes. waist. Yes. Like so yes. good. Yes. I love that one on you, too. Okay, Adrian, your turn. All right, I can't wait to see Georgine from Eagle Rock, California, rocking my look. Girl, you better come out here. is that it's a two-piece dress, yeah. but it has that retro vibe to it. You look Cute. amazing Aww. in it. Yes. Adorable. Yes. My favorite thing about this is that it comes as a set, like you just said, but you can totally rock each piece separate as well. Like, you can put Cute. that with a pair of jeans or, you know, mismatch it, and I love that so much. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yes. So Beautiful. So Ladies, cute. you guys look amazing oh, in those outfits. Yes. And you know, our clothes look like they were made for all of you. Yes. So guess what? We think you should take them home! Yes! <laughs> now, you may remember earlier this season when my good friends right here thought it'd be funny <laughs> to keep me in the dark, and they surprised me with the celebrity chef, 
who was eight years old. <laughs> Take a look, you guys. She's still on got the it. Cheese. I'm also gonna add some Gruyere cheese. No, wait, don't set oh. it down. Oh. Don't set it down. Okay. Adrian, <laughs> see that chef? You gotta keep Adrian in line. She thinks she knows what she's doing. See, guys? Well, guys, this is what it's supposed to look like when it's all done. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe it was fun. It was. So uh, guess what? I wanted to pass the favor along and surprise another co-host with their perfect chef. And I chose none other than Lonnie Lo. Here he is, one of the hottest new chefs in the game. No Whoa. to fuse old-fashioned recipes with new twists. His creativity is limitless. And one of his favorite ingredients, you ready for this, Lonnie? What? Bacon! Please welcome Chef Sean Allen! Join us. Oh, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> Lonnie, are you gonna be able to. I like you, man. Well. Okay, so see okay. that? I'll be hooking you up. All right. Okay, what are you teaching Lonnie and everyone at home to bake today? Today we're gonna bake the tipsy bacon pecan. Pie. Ooh! Lonnie, do it. Getting a yeah. hot in the kitchen already. Damn. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Chef Sean, what's the first step? So, next, we're gonna, we're gonna let this. Uh, Pan warm up a little bit. Can you touch yeah. it? There you I, go. Yeah, heat it, up. It, it, it heated up a little bit. All right. So, like I'm heating up right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. gosh. Sure, all right. Okay, what comes next, Chef? Okay, we're gonna throw this butter in there real quick. Put some butter. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just well, melt then that butter in there. So you get all that butter. All that butter. And okay. then do the corn syrup. The what? The, the corn, corn syrup. syrup. Yeah, I'll okay. let you pour Light that in. Corn syrup. There, right, there you go. Lonnie, you stay go. focused. <laughs> I can't. I love a man that can cook. Okay. Okay. There we go. So next we're gonna take the brown syrup. Okay, the brown syrup. You Ooh, like brown syrup? Dark yeah. corn oh, yeah. syrup. You better believe it. Let me get that from you. <laughs> what is happening? All right. So, let's what, let's what take else? Here, let you whisk whisk that a little. Oh, All you right. giving me yeah. something to do. Okay. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, girl. <laughs> <Don't be scared. laughs> Chef John, what's next? After yes, she okay, whips it up. We're going <laughs> yeah. to okay. put that sugar in there, Lana. Sugar, okay. Oh, yeah, the sugar. sugar. Yeah, all not in the there. lip gloss, the sugar. The li mm, mm, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's put some maple whiskey in whiskey. there. Whiskey. Just, just this much? I need yeah, some yeah, more. Yeah. All right. Oh, put that maple whiskey in there. That's not enough in there. Where's the right. rest of the whiskey? Oh, we're going we to get back to that. Okay. Get, All right. Let's put that butterscotch schnapps in there. Oh, schnapps. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. This yeah. sounds okay. yeah, yeah, delicious. Yeah. All right, let's put that pecan whiskey in there. Ooh, yes. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Boom. That's right. All right You're the color pecan. You know that? Okay, <laughs> right, 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 okay. right. <laughs> After this cools down, you put that in, it thickens up, then you pour your nugget in the pie shell. The nugget. The nugget. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Jeff, how long does it take to bake? It'll take 50 to 55 minutes okay. to bake. Okay. Okay. So now, to your desire, you put as much bacon and crushed pecans in your pie shell. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she wants there she go. For there sure. we go. There we so go. then after you do that, so that's going to blend in with your nugget, you're going to take the pecans, and then you're going to... Oh, spread them, them around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's show them what the... And then it'll look like... Oh, like that. wow! I'm ready to try it. That looks amazing. Yes. It looks amazing. So now that we got it out the oven, mm -hmm. you guys take a bite. Tell take me what a you bite, think. ladies. Okay. Oh, my... oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is... So amazing. Good. That is delicious. Is that yes. Yep. It's that sweet and salty combo that I love. But it's not too, it's not, not too sweet. sweet. Mm -hmm. it's I like, really like good. you, you sweet. Right, right. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Chef right. Sean, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. When you can't afford the designer pieces hot off the runway, 
Don't worry, because it's never long until someone makes a mock-off version and sells it for way cheaper. But you can't fool me, because I can always tell when it's real and when it's not. But can you? Let's uh. find out, because it's time to play Fake It Art! Fake it! take their shot at spotting the real items versus the fakes. If they spot the real, it's theirs to take. Woo! Yes! <laughs> if not, they go home with a priceless t-shirt from the real. Yeah! <laughs> but wait, since it's fan -ruary, we thought we'd let one of our at-home fans play right along with us. So put Brooke Strayhorn from Charlotte, North Carolina, on the line. Where are you at, Brooke? <laughs> okay, I want to see your dance moves from home down there, too, all right? Now, guess what? Okay. You aren't just playing for one item now, Brooke. You're playing for them all. Are you ready for that? I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> That's right, so sit back, because whatever our in-studio contestants win, Brookie, you win, too. <laughs> Our first audience member is Gina Howard! It's your show! Hi, Gina! How are you? Come over here. <laughs> All right, Gina, where are you from? Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Baltimore! Yeah. DMV? <laughs> Adrian and Tam Tam, <laughs> what are we playing for here? Well, if you've got the spirit of Cookie Lion inside of you, let it loose and rock it with a fabulous faux fur vest like you see here. Mm-hmm. One of these is designed by Lucy Paris and sells for $95. And the other is a mock-off that sells for $25. Oh. So, which would you take? Okay. I need you to think about it. Audience, you gotta help her. And Brooke, are you watching? Brooke, I need you to hold up a finger. Do you think it's one or two, the Brooke? Twins. Okay, listen, think about it. Okay, okay, let's see if Brooke can help you. One or two, Brooke? One. One, okay, one. Are you sure, Brooke? I am sure, I am so sure. <laughs> okay, it's up to you now. What are you gonna go with? What Brooke said, what the audience says, or your spirit? I'm gonna go with my spirit. Okay, one or two. Number one. You think number one is the real? Like these. Now, one of these pairs is designed by Toga Pula and sells for $516. Oh, the other is a pair that's fake that only costs $59. Which one will you take? Okay, Rakaya, Brooke, what do you think? One or two? Audience, what do you think? Okay. All right, you see, all, you see what everybody says. Rakaya, I need you to make a decision. Is the real number one or number two? I'm gonna go with number two. Number two, is she correct? Yes. <laughs>
California. Go ahead and grow. <laughs> Tay Tay, tell her what she's playing for. Girl, you in for a treat today. <laughs> and if you want to show up and show out at your next event, then you got to get one of these faux leather quilted bags, honey. One of these is designed by the fabulous Stella McCartney. And she said, for, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait for the coin. $1,280. for 108. So baby cakes, which one will you take? Okay. Ooh. Think. Think. Look at Brooke. Brooke, what do you think, audience? Brooke thinks one. I don't know what the audience is thinking. They're all mixed. What do you think? Oh. Tell Tay Tay. It's a Stella McCartney. Get it right. Okay, I believe in you. Okay. So, I need the twin tuition. I have a okay. twin here in the audience. Okay. And I won right there, so you gotta send me the twin tuition, okay? Okay. Oh, the channel, the twin tuition, and it is number one or two? Oh, I have to go with one. One. Yes. Yes. Yes.